Hi guys, welcome back. So today I have a very interesting um, video for you guys, as you guys can tell from, from the title. But it's actually a package I received. Well, let me tell you the story. I, I used to work in central London before, so my ex-colleague, he got in touch with me saying that, oh, there's a package for you. And I was like, for what? And he's like, I don't know. And then I was like, okay, um, bring it to me to my new workplace. So when he did, and obviously my manager being as impatient as he is, he decided to just open it just to check because we were all there he was like oh let's just check let's just check so when we open i i see this paper with this inside it and it has my um details and stuff but i'll just show you what the paper says i mean it was saying like bloggers post or something like that and anyways it's got the list of products that they sent me and in this um packaging so I was like what everyone was like oh did you order anything I didn't order anything I don't remember ordering anything but it is from the hub and hub basically is a site that everybody that works in um, superdrug they kind of use it as a, like a social network for superdrug people I don't know so anyways it said it's from the hub and everyone was like asking did I fill in any um did I fill anything in or any questionnaires I was like no anyways nevertheless I'm obviously excited to receive this um I had it here since last week, Sunday, and I was dying, but obviously I only get time to um, film on Sunday, so I had to wait till today. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up for the first time with you guys, and we'll see what's inside. I mean, on the list I can see what they are, but obviously I'm not exactly sure exactly what they are, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to open them and be right back. I just opened the package and I put it in this box, so this is how it looks like, obviously, once I took everything out. I'm not going to go in no particular order, I'm just going to pick them up and show you guys and because I have this paper here with the invoice, I will tell you guys the price as well. So the first thing they I found here, well I've got here, is the Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquer, which looks like this, the packaging. And this is in the shade uh, Took My Love and this is how the product looks like. Right. I'll do a little swatch on my hand. That's how the colour is. It's basically very, very blue based pink. Um, something like, I think it's similar to what I'm wearing on my lips today actually. If you guys are wondering what I've got on my lips, it's the Rimmel 16 hour, 24 hour, I don't know. I will leave like the product description in the description box below. So that's that one. And then they sent me two of these. Um, the one blush stick from obviously is like that, they look like that um, they are basically the I think uh, Rev, um, what's it called not Revlon um, Maybelline had um, something similar but they basically look like this right and oh this shimmer I think this is going to be on my skin tone I think it's going to be more of like a highlighter Let me see if I can swatch it. Okay, it's not okay. I don't know if you guys can see there. All right. I think I'm gonna obviously it's more let me just check the name of the shade actually. This is in the shade Dream. Yeah, okay. So this is in the shade this is in the shade Dream and this is more like a highlighter for me. I won't be able to use it as a um blush, that's for sure. But I'm okay with that. And the second shade I have here is called Pink, and again, the packaging looks like this. I like the packaging, actually. It's very sleek. I like using that word as well. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's how it looks like, the colour. It's very pink. Um, I'm not sure if I will be actually using that as a blush. I'm not sure. I might just try it as a lipstick more than i mean you can do whatever you want to do with makeup i guess do what you feel like doing there's no rules in makeup so yeah i might just do that the second thing i have here which is this guy basically obviously I, um if you watched my previous video did i i think i already uploaded the video where i talked about three for two in superdrug so um yeah i was gonna buy this one anyways um this is the it's called aqua seal liquid eyeshadow primer so basically this is just an eyeshadow primer for your eyes um 
I went through. I finished my MUA one. I'm, I'm always. I'm, I'm almost finished with my. What's it called? Elf mineral one. The one that I used on my tutorials. I'm almost um, finished with that one too. But I'm so I'm happy I've got this one. Second thing they've given me is this ultra face, ultra face base primer. That looks like this. Let's open it to see what it looks like. You know, sometimes some primers can be like very um, concealer base. Con concealer base? Can you say that? It looks more like a concealer. Or some of them can be like the my Benefit one or the what's the other one I use? Maybelline one. They're very like clear gel type. So this is. I don't know if you guys can see. It's there. Um, let's see how it feels once you oh exactly like my Maybelline one if you guys have the Maybelline baby skin pour razor I think it's called the blue one um, which I've got on my, which is what I've got on my um, face right now it's basically as and you know when you blend it in it's basically clear and it feels, just feels really smooth and silky so that's that one. Oh my god I forgot to show you the price of the blusher so they are five pound each and then this this one the eye primer is three pound and this this primer which is five pound as well so I mean the price range is really good I mean if you guys are already familiar with MU um, MUA make MUA I keep saying MUA makeup revolution makeups you guys would know that they're very um, in price range they're very very um, I don't want to use the word cheap because that sounds so wrong I don't like to say makeups the price is cheap but you know they're very reasonable and they're very affordable so that way you know which is really good and I don't know if I mentioned the price of this one which is three pound basically so yeah and then the next thing I see here is the pressed powder which looks like this um, this is in the shade soft pink the cool thing about this is it's got the mirror at the back so obviously um, once you take the packaging off you've got the mirror which is handy for you especially on the go I'm not gonna open it because I don't think this is my this is my color I might just pass it on to one of my friend or my cousins we'll see and this is retailed for two pound only so that's good and then I see this big giant what is this this is the bronzing sh shimmer highlight which looks like this I mean this thing is massive and I don't know if you guys can see, obviously, I'm going to open and show you guys. It comes with three colors, which is really good for, like, um, if you want to bronze up your face, if you want to contour your face, because it comes with three different um, shades, which I don't know if you guys can see. side as a highlighter, maybe a bronzer or a contour, depending, really. But let's swatch them and see if you guys can get any idea. So, I don't know if you guys can see the colors are here basically. So, it's the lighter one, medium, and then dark. And they, this doesn't have like a specific name. It just says bronze, shimmer, highlight. So, bronze, shimmer, and highlight. So, they made it as simple as it can get for you guys. So, this one is... Sorry if I keep looking down. I've also got the invoice here. Um, this one retail for £4 only. Again, very good price. And then I've got four palettes here. One of them I'm so excited to receive because I always want, there's like two, they're called a sister brand, basically M uh, Makeup Revolution and also um, I Heart Makeup. They're like, they're like basically, in, if you go to Oxford Street or Marble Arch, you see both of the stand together because um, in big retail, in, in big stores, they have both of the stand. In most of the stores, like small stores, they have like only makeup revolution. I have makeup only, I think, is in central. And I don't know what the deal is, but in my store, I have makeup revolution, but I don't have I heart makeup. So when I saw this name on the invoice, I was like, God, I got, I, I'm, I, I couldn't wait to basically open it. So anyway, this is how the packaging looks like. So this is called I heart makeup black velvet palette. And by just by looking at the packaging, from the packaging, I'm excited because, oh, I already ruined the packaging. Okay. I don't want to get dirt on it, right? Because I have all these shimmers. But I don't know if you guys can see, but it's basically covered with all velvet, the whole packaging. And then it's got a little heart in the middle. So black heart velvet. Do you get it? Anyways. So, and, okay, it comes with this little insert that tells you the name of the colors. You know what? Most of the time, I know I'm probably asking for too much because of, because of the price 
of the products but I just wish that they would keep the palette um, the names either on the actual product itself or behind rather than giving me this because I think majority of us lose these things but never mind so, so I don't know if you guys, I don't want to blind you guys but this is how the palette looks like from the inside um, when I first looked at the uh, palette I was gonna say it's very smoky but then I realized this little corner which is here I don't know if you guys can see. I mean, you can do your everyday neutral look. There's six shades there, which are, like, really good for everyday makeup. I mean, everyday look. So, yeah, I'm just going to give you, like, a quick swatch of some of the colors. Okay, so I've just swatched, like, four random colors for you guys. You guys, I don't know how to do this because my camera's on this side, but I want to stretch my arm on that side. Anyways, so this is how the colors, are, um, the colors look. I mean, it's not as pigmented as I thought it would be, but I think it's because, obviously, I'm just using my fingers. If I dip it into... Um, when I dip it in with a brush, maybe it will. We'll see. I might do a look with this. With this, if you guys are interested, let me know. Another thing, you know, today as I was getting ready, I was going to film this look. Actually, I wasn't going to do this look. I was going to do something else and film it for you guys. But then I was like, I'm not. I don't know what it is. I just feel like, who am I to tell you guys how to do a look? You know, you can do whatever you want to do about. Oh, because I'm not a makeup artist or anything, and I love reviewing products. Like I love doing what you know, um, first impression and things like that. But I don't know if you guys want to see looks from me let me know i might do it for, i mean i want to not that i might i want to but i just think like there's so many people out there doing it we'll see anyways uh, oh by the way that palette uh the i heart makeup palette was is 7.99 so it is a little bit pricier than maybe your makeup revolution products but then again still 7.99 is very affordable and then the second thing i i well, not the second thing. And then the next thing I see is this palette here. It's from uh, Makeup Revolution. It's called Essential Shimmers. It's at the back, if you guys can see. And when I saw this palette, I was, I think I was, I think this one, out of the four palettes they sent me, I think this one's the least expensive one. And I was most ex um, excited to see this because I'll show you guys what I mean. I have this palette from MUA. It's called the... Undress Me To palette and as you guys can see it's been well loved and um, I wanted to basically repurchase this one or buy this one because it's similar um, in colors and stuff so yeah a palette looks like inside I'm gonna just gonna remove this I mean the other one came with this little sponge tip brush as well but yeah I'm, I don't really use them but yeah, anyway so this is how the palette looks like and if you guys are wondering, trust me, these colors are really, really so good. So here's a swatch of ran three random colors. As you guys can see, they're very pigmented. Um, I just literally, like, tap my finger in. So, yeah. I mean, I really, I mean, even the other colors, um, they weren't as pigmented as this one. This is what I'm saying, because I know these shadows are really, really good. And they're only for, I was going to say $4. Yeah, so basically, um, yeah, so as you guys can see, this is very pigmented and stuff. And it's really good because it's only £4 each. And then I've got two more palettes to go here. We pick up this one first. So this, so the next palette is this one basically. It's called Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Mm. And the back looks like this. The packaging is really cute by the way. I mean I really like this. Um. Alright, so as soon as I open again, they've given me this insert with the name and stuff. I should keep the other one next to it. I just kind of like put it away. Anyway, so this is how this so this is how this palette looks like. Um, I th well, I see the concept behind this. I don't know if you guys can see. So do you see this six shades here, which is very neutral and your everyday, and then they've got these six shades here, which is obviously very. I don't want to use the word vampy or dark, but you know what I mean. If you want to smoke up your look or if you want to just add in pop of color to those neutral colors, you can do so. And then obviously they have a row of matte shades here as well, which again is very useful. I'm going to do a quick swatch of these. Okay, so here are the swatches. I mean, only a few. As you can see, I did the, from the neutral side, I did two here. And then from the more colorful side, I did two here. And then three swatches from the you know the little round ones, the matte colours. So I did it here. I really like the black. As one. I was saying, I really like the black one. It's called Never. It says Never Doing What I'm Told. Yeah. So I really like that one. And another thing, obviously, like obviously I can't show you guys, but as you, if you guys can see how big the surface is and the whole mirror inside is as big as it shows here. Also with the other palette, the um, I Heart Makeup one, 
the only the makeup revolution the normal one the four pound one didn't have any mirror with it and this one retails for I'm so shocked as I was reading this retails for only four pound seriously wait I just want to double check it's yeah four pound for this thing wow I'm really surprised I mean I know I sell it but I thought they were six pound never mind clearly don't pay attention to what I'm doing at work but that's obviously that's that shade palette I'm just quickly wiping the colors off my hand and then I have one last palette to go which is here I mean I'm not even, I don't even know if I should try and say the name it looks like this it's called Dia de los Miratos I seriously said that wrong and I don't want to I don't want to offend anybody but basically it looks like this I'll show you guys the name here close up all right and here's the back to the palette I literally dropped it off my hand while I was trying to open it and yeah like I really like the packaging before the thing by the way don't you guys agree that whatever packaging they have here they should clearly put those packaging here right I know they're probably just trying to go with the whole sleek you know neat I don't know what they're trying to do, but obviously I understand maybe they just want to keep it as simple as possible. But I mean, I would love to have their original palette that looks like this. And then when they come up with, um, these are not limited edition, but you know what I mean. When they come up with all this packaging, I really do hope, I really do wish that they would do it here as well. Because when I leave it on my, say if I'm leaving in the drawer like this, I don't know which one is which by just, okay, let me show you. You can't tell which is which just by looking at it like that. But if they had those fancy packaging that they do on the fancy packaging that they do on the packaging, then you would be able to realize which palette is which. But never mind. This before I get another shock, I just want to double check the price of this one. Um, this one is okay. See, this one is retailed for six pounds. I don't know why the other ones were four pound. Anyways, so again, insert a mirror same size as this massive and then it comes with a sponge tip like so and this one is probably the colorful one out of all the ones that they sent me it looks like this that yellow telling me can you swatch me now just one second I don't even know if it's yellow it looks more like um it's that greenish yellow I don't know what it looks like anyways let me just swatch it for you guys okay. it looked really really pigmented when I, when it was, I thought it would be more pigmented but maybe it will because you know, bright colors like this, I like to dip my brush, not dip my brush, but spray my brush with some kind of fix plus, some kind of face something, and then make it a little bit wet, then use it, so then the color, um, it pays a better color. And the next thing I'm going to, next thing, next color I'm going to swatch is this pink one here. Looks like this. They are pigmented though, you guys. I mean, you know, there's you can't complain, especially with the price. You really can't complain, so that's how color looks like and once again this is how the palette looks like yeah this one's very colorful one thing I really like about this palette I don't know if you guys noticed or not all the palettes have some kind of neutral some kind of shimmer some kind of matte going on so in that way you don't have, if I wanted to make if I want to do a look with this palette right here as I was saying um, if I want to do a look with this palette right here or any of the other palette right I don't have to go and find I don't have to use another palette basically I could do if I could do so many different looks with just one palette in, on its own because it has the matte the shimmer the colors and everything like that so which is a really good plus point anyways that was the last product that they've sent me and I don't want to do a disclaimer that this has been sponsored and so because they didn't sponsor me I don't even know how it got to me like I said I've I've tried asking questions and stuff to my manager and I've asked like I've checked on hub and things like that I actually don't know Maybe because I went to this event a couple of months ago for like a beauty specialist uh, event. Maybe because of that because I did fill in like the questionnaires and stuff. I don't know. Whichever way they sent me, obviously they didn't pay me to make this video or I'm not being paid to show any of these things. Um, because they don't know who I am. Clearly they don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm so thankful to MUA. Oh my God, they're going to kill me for keep saying, keep calling them MUA, that's for sure. I'm so thankful for Makeup Revolution for... I'm so thankful to Makeup Revolution for sending me these products. Um, I will obviously use them. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about the littlest thing they sent me, like the palette here, which is, you know, 
this palette because I really wanted to get my hand on this one. Not that I couldn't, I would just I just don't know why I wasn't picking up because I was just waiting. I don't know. If you guys want to see any uh, of these makeup items in action, let me know. If you guys want me to do a look with any of the palettes, let me know. I love doing first impressions so and I love doing this stuff as well. So <laughs> I will definitely be doing a first impression on this product here. I just love doing first impression. I think they are the longest film to film because you have to use it like really early in the morning. Well, let's not say really early, but obviously you have to keep it on for the whole day. You have to check in and stuff. But I love doing that. I don't know why. So I will do a video on this one. Look out for that one maybe in about a week or two. Because I really liked how it was swatching. And when I was trying to take it off, even though it wasn't on for so long, it was already dried and it was kind of matte and I like that kind of look and I love long lasting lipsticks. It's like, you don't have to reapply them. I think I'm giving you whole reviews on this video, never mind. So anyways, I will do a first impression on that product and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and let me know in the comments box below if there's anything you guys want to see first impression of. I will try and find links of everything that I've shown today, individual one, and link it for you guys, like I always do. If I can't, obviously, I will leave a link to Makeup Revolution and Super Drug and everything like that. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.